Hi, I'm Marion. Welcome to Thrive Gluten Free, where I'm all about showing you how easy it is to cook simple and delicious gluten free meals. Today I'm going to show you how to make my Paleo Cashew Almond Date Balls. They are a perfect post workout snack, or if you just have a sweet tooth that you want to satisfy. They are one of my favorite snacks, and they keep in the fridge for up to two weeks if they last that long. The foundation of the date balls are obviously dates. Dates are an incredible food. They are flavorful, they have a nice, rich, sweet flavor that has a hint of caramel to it. It is also a nutrition powerhouse. It has vitamin A, K, B vitamins, especially folate, calcium, potassium, iron, and they also contain elemental fluorine, which actually protects your dental health. How cool is that? So first, you want to make sure that your dates are soft. They can dry out the longer that they're on the shelf. So you want to make sure they're kind of sticky and dark when you look at them. And they have these pits inside that you're going to want to remove for this recipe or really any time. Our 15 dates have been de-pitted and de-stemmed, so we are just going to set these aside while we chop our nuts. The first nuts we're going to use are raw almonds. We're just going to use a quarter cup. And also a quarter cup of raw cashews. If you're allergic to nuts, you can also use raw sunflower seeds and pepitas. They would work just as well. So now we're just going to chop these into small pieces. Beautiful. Now we're just going to add our nuts to the bowl. And now we're going to work on the date mixture. First up into our processor are the dates. And next up is a tablespoon of coconut oil. You want to have it in its liquid form. Next up, we're going to add a tablespoon of raw honey. It really doesn't need the sweetness, but the raw honey helps them stick together. And last but not least is our vanilla extract. And we're just adding one teaspoon of the vanilla. And now to make our date paste. And we're going to add a touch of salt to the dates. And now, add our date mixture in as well. It's nice and sticky. Perfect. With this recipe, you cannot be afraid to get your hands dirty. Next up, we're going to add a third cup of Enjoy Life mini chocolate chips. They are allergen-free, gluten-free, dairy-free, soy-free. So they're perfect if you have other food allergies or you just wanna make sure that you don't get contaminated by gluten. And now comes the fun part. We are going to mix this up together by hand. actually kind of fun. This looks really good. So now we're going to take a little bit 
and roll it around in our hands to make a ball. And we're going to do this with the whole mixture and then roll them in raw, unsweetened, shredded coconut flakes. If you are not a fan of coconut, you can also roll them in a little bit of cocoa powder. Um, and, or you really don't have to at all. I like to do it because I store them in an airtight container all together and it just prevents them from sticking. All right, we are on our last date ball. And they look absolutely scrumptious. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today is actually our final show for season one. Thank you so much for sticking with me along the way. I appreciate your watching my videos and your support and your feedback and the pictures of the recipes that you have made. I love when you post them on my Facebook page or email them to me. It is so much fun and it brings such a smile to my face. You can follow me on Facebook, Google+, Instagram, and also for this recipe and more, head over to my website, www.roadtolivingwhole.com. See you next season.